Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss uh, some more problems related to averages. Uh, let's see the first question in this session. See here, the average weight of five persons, the average weight of five persons sitting in a boat is 38 kgs. Average weight of five persons is given as 38 kgs. If the average weight of boat and the person sitting in the boat is 52 kgs. Average weight of boat as well as the persons sitting in the boat is 52 kgs. Then what is the weight of the boat? That is the question he is asking. Here, this kind of problems are very simple. Only one step you need to write. If you know how to write that particular step, it is very easy to get the answer. Here, according to the question, the average weight of 5 persons sitting in a boat is 38 kgs. If the average is 38, then sum of 5 persons, sum of 5 persons, which is equal to average into number of persons, average into number of persons. Here the average is 38 and number of persons are 5. Now you can multiply these two. What you will get here? Here it is 150 plus 40 that is uh, 190, 190 kgs. Here the sum of 5 persons is uh, 190 kgs. And after that, if weight of boat is also included to these uh, uh, 5 members, then the average becomes uh, 52 kgs. Here average of, average of boat and uh, five members boat and person sitting in the boat which is equal to 52 right average is nothing but what sum of boat and five members we don't know weight of boat let us consider weight of boat is b kgs plus sum of five members that is weight of all five members is 190 kgs divided by number of uh, observations now the number of observations are 6. Why? Because uh, previously 5 persons, now boat is also included. Boat plus 5 persons, uh, 6 observations, which is equal to 52. Then if you solve this one directly, you will get the value of B. From this, B is e, B plus 190 is equal to 52 into 6. Now you can multiply these two. What you will get here? Here it is uh, 56 or uh, 300 plus 12, 312 kgs. From this, B is equal to 312 minus 190. That is equal to 122 kgs. The weight of boat is equal to, the weight of boat is equal to 122 kgs. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here. The average weight of 20 students in a class is increased by 0.75 kgs when one of the students weighing 30 kgs is replaced by new student. When one of the students weighing 30 kgs is replaced by new student, then find the weight of the new student. Here, let us consider, let us consider average of 20 members initially. Let us consider average of 20 members initially X. Average of 20 members, that is equal to X. Then sum of 20 members, sum of 20 members or 20 students, sum of 20 students, which is equal to average into number of students, which is nothing but 20. 20x. Sum of 20 students is 20x. Now, what happens from this total sum? One of the student weighing 30 kgs is replaced by new student. It means uh, this 30 kgs person left and uh, one more student joined. Let us take the weight of uh, new student is uh, A. The weight of new student is A divided by there is no change in number of students. Why? Because uh, here one person is replaced with another person. So it means uh, 
Number of students are obviously 20. There is no change. But average is changes. Average is increased by 0.75 kgs. Initial average we considered it as x kgs. Now it is increased by 0.75 kgs. 0.75 is nothing but I will take it as in terms of fractions. That is 3 by 4. X plus 3 by 4. That is a new average. New average after replacement. New average after replacement is equal to 20x minus 30. Minus 30 is the person who left plus a is the weight of a new student divided by 20 is equal to x plus 3 by 4. 3 by 4 is nothing but 0.75. Now you can do the cross multiplication over here. What you will get? 20x minus 30 plus a is equal to here this value 20 into x 20x plus 20 into 3 by 4 20 into 3 by 4 here it is uh, 5 times cancel 5 3 is 15 5 3 is how much 15 here 20x 20x both are cancel therefore a is equal to minus 30 comes to right side 30 plus 15 which is equal to 45. 45 kgs is the weight of new student. 45 kgs is the weight of a new student. That is the required answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, number x is equal to 80 percentage of average of 5, 7, 14 and a number y. If the average of x and y is given as 26, then find the value of uh, y. That is the uh, information which is provided in the question. See here, a number x is equal to 80 percentage. I will write whatever the information is given, I will write as it is. A number x is equal to 80 percentage of average of 5, 7, 14 and a number y. Total 4 observations. Average means what? Sum of observations 5 plus 7 plus 14 plus and the fourth observation is uh, y divided by number of observations 4. Right now from this you can cancel with 20 table 24 sir 25 sir. Here it is uh, 4 4 gets cancelled. You can do the cross multiplication from this 5x is equal to here what is this value 5 plus 7 12. 12 plus 14, 26, 26 plus y. Here I can write this uh, value of y. y is equal to 5x minus 26. y is equal to 5x minus 26. And one more information is given as average of x and y. Average of x and y means uh, sum of x and y divided by number of observations 2, which is equal to 26. Now from this Sum of x and y, x plus y is equal to 26 to 52. 26 to 52. Now you can substitute y is equal to 5x minus 26 in this expression. What you will get if you substitute that value? x plus y value is 5x minus 26, which is equal to 52. That implies 6x is equal to minus 26 comes to right side 52 plus 26 that value is how much 78 you can cancel with 6 table directly 6 13 sir the value of x is 13 the value of x is 13 and here the question what he is asking find the value of y we want the value of y we know that x plus y is equal to 52 and uh, the value of x is 13. 13 plus y is equal to 52. It means uh, y is equal to 52 minus 13, which is equal to 39. The value of y is 39. 39 is the required answer for this question. Guys, uh, in this way, you can solve these kind of problems. If you want to calculate value of x, you can calculate. And if you want to calculate value of y, you can calculate. So, guys, I hope you enjoy the session.
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग